Dun 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 The Rebel Snap Tight Kits slash models. I have the Millennium Falcon here and the TIE Fighter from Force Awakens. You guys are sleeping sleeping on this stuff it is so incredible at a pretty nice price point i believe this stuff's actually cheaper than the toys produced by hasbro we're gonna get in depth with them let's do this first i'll show you the millennium falcon here is the millennium falcon box the tie fighter is very similar in nature the star wars logo like i've been saying earlier for the basic series figures has the force awakens text right underneath it for some reason right next to kylo ren here there is no Force Awakens on the actual packaging. For all the vehicles, I don't know why they're not including them for the actual packaging itself. For the figures, it, it would not say Force Awakens if you had a Boba Fett from Empire or a Luke from Empire or Vader from wherever. For the actual basic figures like Finn or Rey that are from Force Awakens, it says Force Awakens underneath there. So it says right here on the left, ages six and up, skill level one. And it says it'll take a half hour to build. I believe it was a quicker time than that. Bottom says Millennium Falcon, one plastic kit. Action sounds and light. That is why this Rebel Snap Tight kit is actually pretty badass. Not just the model is pretty nicely sculpted and detailed, but actually as a toy, it is actually really cool. It says right here the sticker from the new film, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Side of the box and packaging. Boom, pause it if you wish. Kylo Ren on top. Same on the sides, here's the back. So when you're in the store looking at this thing, you're probably like, oh man, I got paint, it's a model. Actually, you don't have to do any of that stuff. Requires no glue, no paint, and no other tools. Pretty sick. Here's the skill level it's talking about in the front of the box. One is ages six to eight, so you're fine. Features, sounds, and light, no glue. Like it says, half hour, like it said in the front of the box, and the kit is called Snap Tight. It says it has battle, action, sounds, and light. We'll get into that in a second. Movable laser cannon, positional antenna, rebuilt for the new film, retractable landing gear, lighted hyperdrive motivator. That's pretty sweet. On the bottom, it says collect them all, which includes the Resistance X-Wing fighter, First Order Special Forces TIE fighter, which we have, and we're going to also review, and Pose, which is also available in toy form, which if you would like to see that review will be at the end of this video. So let's look at the Millennium Falcon model. As you see in the background, this is a huge Millennium Falcon. It was on clearance at Walmart for $30. This guy runs a price point of 20 bucks. It is actually pretty sweet. Looks just like the Millennium Falcon. Absolutely incredible detailing. You see the top of the sculpt. And I actually thought when I first touched this that these were stickers. That's not stickers. Those are actual detailed vents, painted black. Absolutely incredible. Here's the top rotating cannon. Rotates on a full 360. That is awesome. The sides, where it lights up here in the back when it's going into hyperdrive. Detailing here. It's really not that big. It's roughly 10 inches, 11 inches maybe. So it is small, but if you have this in a diorama, it would look very cool. Or if on your desk as a piece, it would look really sweet. The bottom here, you have your landing gear. You can push it up. All five pegs. There is one screw hole for the electronics, which you obviously need. Besides that, this thing is pretty flawless of a toy. We also have a bottom canyon that rotates as well. So the paint job real quick, your basic Millennium Falcon cream off white, and then your new blue and red paint on the roof and the bottom of the ship. And here's the top satellite rebuilt. Look at the detailing on that guy. This is a $20 model, folks front of the ship you can see there's actually a line there and you snap it together besides that i mean this is uh as close as perfection as you can get people i'm going to flip it to my buddy chris the star wars expert to talk more about the light sounds and the actual features of the millennium falcon yeah so the biggest difference between the original and the new is obviously the satellite this one's rectangular the old one's a circle Besides that, it's pretty much the same. This toy, if you press this button right here, has three different features in regards to sound as well as a light feature. And they all sound extremely movie accurate. And as Matt has already said, this thing looks incredible. But the basic reason why I love this so much is because of the price. It's $20 and it looks better than some of the stuff that Hasbro was putting out that cost $49.99. And the fact that it actually feels durable 
Like, I could probably throw this on the ground and it would still be perfectly fine, despite the fact that I assembled this from, like, 20 different pieces. It's kind of designed like the way the Legos are, where everything is designed to support itself really well. Once it all snaps together, it's not going to fall apart. It's a brilliant piece of uh, toy making, especially for the price point, and I think if you saw this on the shelves, you would be not smart if you let it sit there. Yeah, okay, I can't really do Star Wars sound effects, but if you asked me to do a T-Rex, I could. This TIE Fighter model, same exact company, same exact snap tight model. This thing is just phenomenal. Look at the side of this wing. Whoever sculpted this should get a raise or a promotion. The detailing on the side of the wing, all the bolts, all the nooks and crannies, look at that detailing. That is really hard to do with a little knife. Whoever did this is amazing. This, and also feels like the Millennium. This is actually a very thin but ridiculously sturdy plastic. The ridges here feel really tough. Yeah, if you throw it against a wall, it might break, and kids might be able to destroy it, but overall, I've seen way worse modeling and quality from other companies. Here's more of the detailing the inside of the wing. You can see that. Just absolutely incredible. Whoever does this snap-type model stuff should really work for Hasbro. Here's the back, the cockpit, the new First Order black and red color scheme. It's actually more like a gunmetal gray type black. I kind of like it. It's got like a kind of a shinier appearance. Not like metallic, like you almost see in the lighting here. But it looks very sharp. And you can see the back exhaust that are painted silver. Yeah, it's a snap type model. So there's going to be that little line there when you snap it together. But it looks really sweet. The back here, you got the little screw hole probably for the electronics. You're going to have that. It's inevitable. Here's the bottom. Detailing once again incredible. That is the speaker to where the sounds come from. So we'll flip it around. Just like in real life. Front of the cockpit, you actually see inside there. Really nice detailing. Window, silver, the blasters in the front. You might as well go to the top. Clear window, nice detailing with the ridges. And then bam, you can fit a very small, probably like one inch if that figure inside the driver's seat. So I don't think they make Star Wars toys that are like 0.5 to 0.75 inches tall. Maybe you can make a little cardboard cutout if you really want to see a TIE fighter pilot in there and you can see the top antennas so to talk more about star wars history the sculpt of this item for the first order and the force awakens as well as the electronic features sounds and other stuff star wars related i'm gonna flip it to my friend chris why thank you matt so that it opens up you can see inside like he said you could probably fit a micro machine in there if you really cared about having a little figure in there one of the things i love about it is just like the millennium falcon snap tight the sound features <laughs> And that's my favorite one. And there's a, a red light up that occurs on the inside. But yeah, what I love about it compared to the older TIE Fighter is I love the new colors. The other one was very gray all over. It looks awesome. You know, it's the classic Star Wars TIE Fighter. But I love the, the new color scheme. As you already said, it's kind of like a darker gray, like you said, gunmetal. I love the red. It really makes it pop out. It gives it a distinct color, you know, kind of like C-3PO's red that you can see in the poster. It's clear that whatever Abrams is doing with Force Awakens, he's using the color red a lot to accentuate things, and I like it. It's very cool. And if you really compare this thing, which cost $20, to the Hasbro uh, made X-Wing from Poe Dameron's line, it's $50. When you really compare the two, they're almost, as Matt would say, play compatible in regards to size. This should be a little bigger. But this is less than half the price of this with all these little weird rubber things and these crooked ass laser things that, by the way, were considerably more crooked when I took them out of the package. And I've actually tried to bend them even to use a lot of pressure to make them look even as straight as, if you want to call that straight, as they are now. And this is less than half the price. So I really don't understand why these are still on the shelves. Kind of like Matt said, you guys are sleeping on this. If you guys want to pick up some of these snap tight things, I would highly recommend it. I'm having a great time with them and they look amazing in the background if you just want to have it sitting there and you can play with them and just don't throw it against the wall because you're not really supposed to throw toys against the wall. Unless you're five. Final thoughts. Let's go uh, TIE Fighter first. What would we give that guy out of 10? For the fact that I bought this for $20, for the sound features, for how realistic it looks, I'm going to give it a flat 10. I think it's a fantastic model. I wouldn't even really call it a toy necessarily. You can play with it as a toy, but it does everything it's supposed to. It's sturdy. It's It took like 10 minutes to build, and all the pieces fit together extremely easily, and I love it.
I think I'm going to go with that too, the 10. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, you can nitpick that. You got your lines there, but it's a snap tight model. How else are you going to get those things together? I think it is a 10 too. Those sound effects are just incredible. And the sculpt looks so accurate. All right, let's talk about the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs, the Millennium Falcon. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this model is its size. I wish that it was a little bigger, and for that reason, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think it does everything it's supposed to do perfectly. I just wish that it was slightly more compatible with the TIE Fighter, which is, you know, it's like... Right. And, and it, it should just be a little bit bigger. Like, I would be perfectly fine spending $30, like $10 more if it was slightly bigger. Other than that, it's awesome. Right, I think I'll give it an 8 or a 9. Is there supposed to be, like, paint on the side here at all for the Millennium Falcon? I assume there should be. If you look at the way the big giant model looks, yeah, that's look, kind of what it's supposed to look like. Uh, and they did a pretty good job recreating right. that, actually, especially with something that small. Right. If you actually see the, the side here, the detailing is pretty much spot on yeah. in a little ass model here. I'll just give it a nine. You said what? A nine? I or, said a nine. Boom. Nine. So uh, pick these guys up. They're roughly 20 bucks a pop. They're also available at Toys R Us, that's where we got ours, and they're just sitting there. So yeah, what are you guys doing for 20 bucks? Don't buy scalpel basic figures for double the price and black series for ridiculous prices. These are 20 bucks. Pick them up, people. See you December 18th. More videos of Star Wars coming. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Thanks, guys, very much for watching. Well, that's uh, $50 well spent. You put the figure inside and you break it apparently there we go it even still kind of looks crooked now it's like my ocd is gonna kill me because of that thing is you spent 50 dollars on this and it looks cool enough you know like if i put it in the background or i had it like hanging or something i'm sure it would be hmm. damn you bb8 there we go that's another thing it's kind of hard to press down because like bb8 moves so and you have to press a button and it's like